Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Want to cross shoulder muscles in gym lingo? I believe those are delts, right? Your deltoid muscles? Let's see if we can build off of that. Small child. I really want this to be taught, so maybe this is traps instead of delts? Yeah, I think you have trapezius muscles also, kind of near your shoulders. So let's put in tot here. Biochem strand, that could be a strand of RNA. Pinpoint, and this is wordplay, so this is not a location of something. This is gonna be a point where you put in your pin. That'll be an ATM, right? Snack item on a stick. Is it gonna be a popsicle? Oh boy. I always have trouble spelling popsicle. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not gonna fit. Hmm, let's get some crossing help here. Number one in the rankings. Okay, that should be on top. Clearwater's neighbor across the bay. Is that Tampa? Tampa Bay? Hmm. It is going to start with pop. Interesting. Actress Sissy. That's Sissy Spacek. Let's see if we can build across Sissy Spacek here. Washington and the Lincoln. Hmm. I feel like this is being tricky. Obviously, these are both presidents, but there's also cities named Washington and Lincoln. And cities would fit. Let's see if we can confirm that. It has one eye on the TV. Hmm. One eye? Oh, it's going to be CBS because their logo is an eye. That's a pretty clever clue. Similar kind. Is that going to be ilk? Of that ilk? Of that kind? What Lao Tzu said is hidden but always present. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Lao Tzu. Hmm. Let's get some help here. Villainous person? Hmm. Is it going to start with black? It seems like it might. Scandinavian drinking cry. I think this should be skull, right? Yeah, like that. So this is Tao. Oh yeah, Lao Tzu wrote the Tao Te Ching. That makes a lot of sense that that would be Tao. Um, okay, so is it Popsicle without the S? Is it? We have two C's here. That looks a little weird. I guess this could be a theme answer. Let's take a look at this. Cowardly person. Hmm. I don't know what this is going to be. I wonder if these two C's are right. You know, this could be an S, and maybe it's not a C. That looks right, actually. And a cowardly person in that case could be maybe a scaredy cat? Ooh. That doesn't actually fit, does it? It's way too short. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's not right either. Interesting. Bonfire residue. That should be ash. Hmm. You know what this could be? This could be a black hat, like a black hat hacker. Let's see if this is an R. Represent as a designer at a fashion show. Um, is it gonna be wear? Who are you wearing? Yeah, I think so. It is looking like it's gonna start with scaredy. Hmm. Spider-Man slings them. He's a web slinger, so this is gonna be webs. Correct copy. Hmm, this is tricky. It kind of looks like a noun, like an adjective modifying a noun, but I think this is gonna be a verb. Correct copy. That could be edit, right? Nice and tricky there. Taj Mahal's locale. Hmm, is it just gonna be Asia? I don't know about that. I think it's in Agra. That's a much better answer. Sharp but appealing quality. Is that gonna be an edge? 
Yeah, she's got an edge. Twitter icon, that's a bird. Command to Fido. That should be stay. So it does start with scaredy. Interesting. Hmm. It's not a scaredy cat, though. This must have to do with the theme. Yeah, there's got to be something weird going on here. Let's take a look at this down here. Broadway star Lupone. I'm pretty sure this is Patty Lupone. I don't know if this is an I or a Y, though. Let's leave that for now. Diarist Nin. That's Anias Nin. Man, this is kind of a tricky cross here. French for star. Um... Man, I know I've seen this word before. I want it to be étoile, like that. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Let's see if that's right. Let's see if we can confirm that. Site of the 1998 Winter Olympics. I know that's Nagano, Japan, because they made a Nintendo 64 video game for the 1998 Winter Olympics, and I played that. Yeah, that's how I remember that one. That's funny. Called off. Hmm. Called off like a wedding? I don't know. Imitated. That should be aped. Millennials by another name? Okay, that's gonna be Gen Y. Excellent. Okay. Like some markets? That could be open air, kind of like a bazaar. Non Jewish. That'll be Gentile, yeah. Long and perilous journey. That's an odyssey. Yeah, like the one Odysseus had to take. Okay, so this is going to be a no-go. And then I think Etoile is actually right. That's pretty impressive. And then Ray, Daisy Ridley's role in Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have scaredy pants. It's not a scaredy cat. Very funny. All right, nothing too crazy was going on here. Glace after melting. Okay, um, is this the French word for a glacier? Because this could be O, right? That would be the French word for water. Abbreviation before a name on an envelope. That's got to be attention. Have some, an equivalent phrase. That should be try it, right? Yeah. Meaty bone for a dog? I guess that's a treat. I wonder if this is going to be part of the theme. Ineffectual person. That's going to be an empty suit, right? So we have scaredy pants and empty suit. Hmm. This is pretty funny. They're kind of clothing that has adjectives attached to them. Oh, and we also have black hat. That must be part of the theme as well. That's another clothing plus adjective. Yeah, so that means this will probably be a theme answer. And so will this one. Excellent. Okay. Biblical son of Rebecca. I don't know. Is it Esau? It's always Esau. Blank Vincent Amor. Ooh. I don't know if I know this quote. It's got to be Latin, right? Something about love? Hmm. British political VIPs. That should be PMs, right? Prime Ministers? Recurring pattern. Hmm. Is that going to be a moray pattern? I think it might be. How do you spell that? Is it like that? Hmm. That's a tough one. I think that might be right. And then this would be Omnia. Is that love above all? My Latin isn't really good enough to be able to know that one. Votes in. Shouldn't that be elects? Hmm. Recurring pattern. Maybe this is going to be a motif instead. Yeah, it's not necessarily going to be a visual pattern. Let's try Alex here. Okay, let's see if we can build off of that. It might come in a bottle. Is it going to be red wine? I just want to put that in because of this E here. Nix Arena familiarly. That should be Madison Square Garden. So this should be MSG. Okay, so this is not red wine. 
in a bottle. Maybe it's medicine? Ooh, no, that doesn't fit. All right, we're gonna stop guessing on this one. Let's see if we can get this across. New York City's Mount Blank Hospital. That's Mount Sinai. Okay, maybe it's a message. There we go. We just needed that S there. Open to the thigh as an evening gown. Is that gonna be slit cut? I don't know about the cut at the end. Let's see if we can confirm that. Working hard. Shouldn't that be at it? Yeah. Oscar nominee Rollins. I know I've seen this name before. Is it Jerry? Let's take this out. Hmm. Idyllic place. That's gotta be Eden. Uh, maybe it's just slitted? Yeah, it's just one word. Heartfelt. That should be genuine, right? Maybe it's Gina? Traditional garment in West Africa. Ooh, um, I wanna say this is a caftan. I think I've seen that word before, and that would give us Gina. Is this gonna be a stuffed shirt? Pompous person? Yes, it definitely is. That's really funny. Stuffed shirt. These are great. These are all really fun phrases. Let's see if we can get this last one over here. Time's running out. Sound? Is that TikTok? It's not the app. Date to be wary of. I guess that's going to be the Ides of March, especially for Caesar. Anonymous last name. That's got to be Doe, like Jane Doe. Yeah. Put a ring on it? Is this about proposing to someone? I kind of feel like this is being tricky. Put a ring on it. Hmm. I don't know. Place to get a mud bath? And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about a spa. It's not going to be that kind of mud bath. I guess this is going to be a sty. That's really nice and tricky because if you get this S in here first, you might really want to put spa in there. I love it. Traitorous person. Okay, this is gonna be a turncoat. Very funny. Yeah, these are all adjectived pieces of clothing. All right, let's see if we can finish off this corner. Put a ring on it. You know, I wonder if this is ear. This feels like an exclamation mark clue without the exclamation mark. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Sometimes they leave it off. I don't know why they do that. Yeah, this is one of those clues where you have to take it literally. What do you put a ring on? An earring? An ear? Yeah. Okay. Shop with aromas. That's going to be a bakery. And this will be an RBI. Box score stat. Yeah, box score is about a baseball game. All right, let's get the center section. Work on glass, perhaps. Could that be etch? Yeah, you're making a piece of art on glass. Be bold enough to. That should be dare to, right? Egg on. Hmm, so you're kind of like prodding someone to do something? I'm not sure about this one. Purple blank? Uh, is it purple haze? Is that right? Bite at a Spanish bar. That could be tapa at a tapas bar. Celia, known as the Queen of Salsa. I think that's Celia Cruz. I think she's shown up once or twice before. And this is looking like it should be spur. Yeah, you're spurring someone to action. And this will be here. Roll call response. Yeah, like in high school. Excellent. Okay, so let's finish up this corner here. Like the Valkyries. Um, well, they're on horses, right? Hmm. Fictional world entered through a wardrobe. That's definitely going to be Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Freeze over. Could that be Ice Up? Director Kurosawa. That's Akira Kurosawa. Yeah, he made a ton of really good movies. Big name in outdoor gear. That's REI. South, south of the border. Uh, okay, so this is the Spanish word for south. Is that sur? I think that's right. 
So this will be Norse. Yeah, the Valkyries are mythical Norse characters. And that means this is going to be EPA, Clean Air Act Org. Yeah, that definitely sounds right. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 20 minutes. That's an excellent Wednesday time for us. Okay, so what did we have for our theme? We had articles of clothing preceded by an adjective, and they all describe a kind of person. A scaredy pants is a cowardly person. A black hat is a villainous person. An empty suit is an ineffectual person. A turncoat is a traitorous person. And a stuffed shirt is a pompous person. This is a really nice collection of theme answers. I loved that they noticed that there were so many examples of this type of phrase, and they were able to collect five of them into a really nice Wednesday theme. The theme was definitely the highlight of this puzzle. All of these theme phrases are really good, but there were some nice downs too. I'm glad we got to review how to correctly spell popsicle. I also liked getting a review of this word caftan. I think I've only seen this once or twice before. Narnia and TikTok were fun over here. I also liked Gentile up in the Northeast. And as far as wordplay goes, there wasn't much today, but I did like this clue for sty, place to get a mud bath. Yeah, beginning with an S makes this one extra tricky. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Wednesday puzzle with me. I'm no scaredy pants, so I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.